Alright, well, good morning and welcome to part three of our journey. Uh, we are, I think, pulling out of Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, looks rather farmish out here if you ask me, so I'm saying we're out of Des Moines. Um, rolling on down I-80 again, we're headed toward Davenport and then into Illinois on I-74. From Illinois to Indiana to Kentucky. So sit tight. When we find something interesting, we'll let you know. All right, so here we are. We're in between. It was like 94 miles to Davenport or something a minute ago. But as you can see, we're in Iowa farm country. We got corn. We got soybeans. We got more corn pretty much all there is around here. Maybe a few cows. But yeah, corn, corn, uh, those are beans, more beans. Looks like they got their crops in, the weather wasn't too bad for them, so. <laughs> I really despise driving anywhere east of Iowa because there's just no use in, a tr in cruise control. Of course I am doing like trying to maintain like 5 over 2 so anyway still rolling still rolling well welcome to a mistake downtown Davenport Iowa um, in case any of you were wondering Google Maps will lead you wrong. Of course, you know, I said, hey, didn't we want to take 280? No, no, we want to go this way. It's still 115 miles. Bullshit. Because right there in front of us, I believe that's the Mississippi River. So that means we're going into Illinois. And this is not the easy way to do it. But anyway, we're doing it. Let's see, what's this say? Oh no, this might be the Missouri River. Oh, Mississippi River. We're going into Illinois, guys. That's all right. I'm kind of tired of Iowa anyway. So, uh, well, welcome to the land of Lincoln and Obama. So, yeah, I think that kind of cancels each other out. But anyway, uh, when we get to Peoria, I'll point out some cool stuff down there. For now, guys. I'm out. Well, anyway, guys, welcome to downtown. Uh, well, this ain't exactly downtown, but this is Peoria, Illinois, anyway. We are going through downtown because they have a bridge construction going on uh, 474, which is the bypass route. <laughs> anyway, there's, uh, you know, this is the home of Caterpillar. kind of says it all. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to see much of anything because Caterpillar was based on the Illinois River before the uh, interstate system was put through. They used river and they used water and rails back in the day rather than worrying about roadways too much. I'm sure they probably got pretty good access nonetheless. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, we're just kind of rolling along here. Here in a bit, we'll come up on Morton, Illinois. Anybody that's ever bought parts from Caterpillar has probably had to wonder, where is Morton? Because that seems to be where everything is that you want to buy from Cat. Well, I'll show you here in just a little bit. Now we're in downtown Peoria. Um, as you can see, it's kind of an old-looking town. Got a lot of cool looking buildings and stuff, but kind of a neat little, it's kind of a neat little straight through shot rather than taking the bypass. Uh, like I said, that was 474, um, but yeah, it's kind of a neat little straight shot through town here just to look at it. Um, you know, as I said, home of Caterpillar and 
whatever else you might remember about this place that's pretty much the the priority though and then here we are we are now crossing the Illinois River or soon we'll be crossing the Illinois River we're on the bridge for it anyway do you know what you're doing uh, oh well all right guys I'm gonna click off for a minute here all right so here we are in Morton Illinois uh, this is just maybe five miles out of Peoria and here we're going to show you why everything that you buy from Caterpillar has to come out of Peoria Illinois, or uh, Morton. Um, you can see that building there. That is the warehouse. Um, all that. See all the trailers and everything. I can't begin to describe to you how huge that building is, but needlessly to say, it's big. Um, yeah. Anyway guys, another little point of interest there. Uh, well, interesting to me anyway. I don't know about the rest of you, but hopefully it is. All right, so anyway, we are still eastbound, basically. Southeast bound, I guess. And uh, rolling on, it was like, well, let's see, here comes the sign. Indianapolis is 193 miles. We're going to have to stop somewhere between here and there, get fuel and what have you, but we're still rolling. So here we are in Indiana. Uh, finally, anyway. Uh, Illinois just is not my cup of tea. But here we are, we're rolling along. Um, still cruising about 74, 75 miles an hour. I haven't seen a speed limit sign for this state yet. I don't think it was, I think it was 70 the last time we came through here. Hopefully it's still the same. If not, I guess I'll probably find out when there's a uh, cherries and berries behind me anyway welcome to Indiana and this is the last state we got across to get to where we're going we'll be crossing over into Kentucky and that'll be the end of that but still got a ways to go yet at least another hundred and 50, 160 miles, and then we'll be where we're going. Oh, I'm getting tired. Anyway, guys, three days on the road, and not quite there yet, but we're going to get there before we shut her down tonight. All right, guys, a quick little rant here before we get too far into Indiana. Uh, I don't know how many miles of one-lane road I drove across, and Illinois but enough and uh, now we're doing the same thing here well it just cleared out again what do you know but anyway miles upon miles of one lane interstate in Illinois and uh, nobody doing anything don't really understand why I mean one place we went along for like 10 miles and there was a road broom on the on the job site. That was it. I don't know if they think they're going to polish the pavement and clean and make it smooth again or what, but yeah, I just, yeah. Illinois completely sucks. That's about all I got to say for that. And hopefully Indiana gets better, but we'll find out. I cannot begin to tell you just how sick I am of looking at orange. Wow. Um, and these people back here don't even have, uh, you know, Indiana doesn't even have sense enough to do it the way they were doing it in Nebraska there a couple days ago. Where, uh, or uh, let's see, yesterday, actually, where they just closed down one whole side of the interstate and fixed it rather than doing this knick-knack shit that they're doing here. 
This is getting old. Every three miles, you got to slow down for two and then speed back up. Getting kind of tired of this. Anyway, just another rant. They, they really aren't doing anything here either. There's a few new pavement patches here and there, but that's it. Anyway, guys, just, yeah, irritated, that's all. All right, well, we just cleared Indianapolis, finally. And uh, still cruising along here. Um, Indianapolis was no fun, which it never is, but anyway, we're rolling right on now. Uh, not seeing any issues in front of us. Everybody seems to have found their happy place and we're rolling. Uh, about another 95, 90 to 95 miles to where we're going. So uh, I'll get back with you a little bit closer to being there. blinking yellow light right there. That is our cue to turn left and go to Kentucky. Um, anyway, we'll get some more footage here. Alright, KY bound. And soon we will see the Ohio River. any smoother anyway so here we are down there is the water that separates Kentucky and Indiana Kentucky and Ohio Kentucky and Illinois for the most part and this is a lock system for the river we live on the deep side up this way but yeah so here we are. Alright guys, it's the fourth morning of our trip here. Um, just getting ready to start unloading this thing. So anyway, 95 F250 7.3. Work tools. A U-Haul trailer that is probably just a little bit overloaded. <laughs> And 1,871 by Google Map miles down. I haven't checked to see exactly how many miles yet. We'll cover that in a fuel mileage video that is upcoming. Anyway, I said I was going to get video of the rig. Well, there you go. There it is. We made it. There's the Fuel Hog Explorer that was really struggling, but anyway, there it is. It made it too. <sighs> Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, this will be the end of the cross country video, I do believe. Three parts of it, but anyway, there it is. Again, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. There will be a name change for the channel upcoming, okay?